Shalom. Before we start, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakha Kodash, the wonders to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all of the like to Akim, Wak Wakim, letting teaching the truth and sincerity. All right, this is going to be another uh, video through the spirit. Basically, you know, we have this whole uh, coronavirus situation. Everyone's stuck at home. You know, all the, and not just the coronavirus, because there's more, there's many things going on in the world. You just had the locusts, uh, you know, they were rampaging Africa. Uh, the super killer, uh, uh, Superman, Terminator hornets, then touched base on America. You know, the, uh, the uh, food famine, dealing with the meat industry. Basically, you have all these different forms of calamities going on in, in this world, and you still have the majority of the Earth's population that don't want to believe and take heed and hearken unto the words of prophecy, unto the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And so it's going to actually take, it's going to literally take for the elect uh, to be getting the spiritual power, all right, for the return of Yahweh Shai, for them to finally believe, and by then it's going to be way too late. I just got a, a scripture to start it off, because basically our people... Uh, especially wicked ass niggas, these people want a sign. You know, it's not good enough. It was good enough for us, all right. But for them, they want to see. They want to see something. And hey, the Lord, He gonna show them something, and and at the same time, He gonna kill them, all right. But this is second. Uh, this is First Kings, uh, seventeen, and I'm gonna start at uh, <clears throat> verse twenty one. Now, this is dealing with Elijah when he revived uh, that widow woman's child. Because the first time he came to her, she didn't, uh, you know, she didn't have any faith. But this is uh, Slaki. First Kings 17 and 21. And he stretched himself upon the child three times and cried unto the Lord and said, O Lord, my power, I pray thee, let this child's soul come into him again. And the Lord heard the voice of Elijah, and the soul of the child came into him again, and he revived. And Elijah took the child and brought him down out of the chamber into the house and delivered him unto his mother. And Elijah said, See, thy son liveth. And the woman said to Elijah, Now by this I know that thou art a man of the most high power, and that the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in thy mouth is true. So it actually took the physical miracle of her son being revived, because he did die of a sickness, for her to finally, you know, believe. All right. Hey, beforehand, he had, uh, what he told her that basically she had a barrel of uh, cooking materials, he told her that shit, he, not shit, he told her it wasn't going to run out, you know, she didn't believe yet, hey, these people, it, it's just going to take, we're going to have to literally be shooting fucking laser beams out of our eyes for them to finally get it. Yeah, because uh, yeah, uh, Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans, they basically has a, a they adapted the whole uh, mentality and uh, being of Esau, meaning Esau only reacts or he really pay attention when force is being met or when, uh, there's an imminent debt, uh, imminent threat being uh, uh, towards him. That's when he takes action. That's when it, uh, uh, he takes things serious. And that's what the brothers going and mentioning how they they Jacobs are really not going to recognize until it's it, 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 it it's too late. It, it, it's going to be too late. You you, you uh, mentioned it. Um, I got it. This is uh, Matthew. 16 and 4, a wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of, of, of the prophet Jonah, uh, Jonas, so uh, he, he, and he left them and departed. Uh, and, and when his disciples were come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread, and Yahweh said unto them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees, but that's going into some different uh but uh a lot of times uh you know we chuck it up to they they lack faith you know uh, they can't see things that is isn't somewhat physically or or or, uh, or not physical in front of them like we all know negroes like shiny things you know mm -hmm. so uh that's what they uh, uh draw draw to okay kind of i just got this real quick another example John chapter uh, 20, I'm going to start at uh, 24. It says, But Thomas, one of the twelve, called Didymus, was not with them when Yahweh came. The other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. All right, now I'm going to jump down. So basically, 
this is dealing with uh, the Lord when he had uh, risen back uh, after the three days in the earth. The, some of the disciples had seen him. They said, look, it's the Lord. And Thomas was like, he's like, I'm not going to believe it until I, until I see the, the, the very scars in his hands. Mm -hmm. And now, just to say this, Thomas, uh, he, Thomas is a man of the Lord. And wherever he is back in today's time, he's uh, pushing the word. So he's not yeah, one of the mixed. wicked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, he's not one of the wicked. But this, the Lord, uh, this had to happen so it could be a cautionary tale to us. Jumping down to verse 27. It says, Then saith he to Thomas, talking about the Lord, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my power, Yahushai saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen, uh, and yet have believed. So I'll pause real quick. Now, so uh, I'm going to read verse 29 again. It says, Yahweh Shai saith unto, unto, unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Kind of so, hey, we have to be the ones uh, that believe regardless. All right, the signs are for these people. They're not going to get it <clears throat> when, when uh, Esau eat them, when troopers got a big black boot. And come kicking in doors like in the Purge movies. The Edomites who was going throughout all the projects and uh, killing everybody on every level. That's when Jake's finally going to get it. All right? When they see uh, when a big sign, even other Israelite uh, groups, a big giant sign saying come get chipped or die. You know, that's what it's going to take for them to finally believe. But we're not supposed to be of that sort. Now you got it. I'm going to uh, get that one scripture. We have to be... Yeah, that's right. right. This is Psalms uh, one ten and three. Sorry, at two. Uh, the Lord sh uh, shall send the rod, thy strength out of Zion. Rule that rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing, willing. Damn. Yeah, there it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Willing in the day of thy power. Who is that? Who is the people that's talking about you? Uh, you, you Israelites. You know, from the various tribes, you are the people that's talking about. It says in the beautiness of, of, ho of holiness, because we were a holy people. I'll tell you that in Deuteronomy that we were a holy, we are a holy people, we're, and the holy means separate. Okay, so 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 we we were a holy people once, but Scripture also talks about how we become dross. You know, so it says from the womb of the morning, thou has the dew uh, of thy youth, and you're supposed to come to this thing young. Okay. But uh, people, uh, the older you get, we know you're, you get stuck in your ways. Like, like for instance, the brother was talking about, basically, they're not going to listen. Take heed to the warning. Like, okay, now, now if you start up doing, um, what do you call it? Um, let's say you start an online business or, or whatever, you know. Or, or let's say you're getting residual income. Okay, the people, uh, the, 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 the strategy is to get the, 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 the hot targets first, meaning... The people who are around you, your friends, your family, you know, your, your girlfriend's friends, to join your business. Now, what's the, in, in the Israelite na neighborhoods, what's the likelihood of that of them joining you? They're not going to have that vision. The scriptures talk about where uh, 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 there is no vision. Yeah, the people oh, fail. Ooh. Okay, if you can I, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, so, so uh, if you if you if, if you have a, a, a something in your mind uh, of a goal you want to accomplish, a lot of times uh, the, the, the other people uh, uh, can't relate. You know, it, it, it's only for you. Yeah, kind. It's only for you. You know, so so you will have to do this thing uh, uh, on your own, man. You know, and once the money comes in this particular business, then the people want to. Uh, Come, come on your your uh, program, so to speak. You know they want to they want to get down. So what did you do to make all that money? When you're down, you know, just just saying, you know, uh, you know. Uh, once you once you start reaching your goals, now you see things that are tangible. Then people want to get on board. But for, for a person who, who who's smart, yeah, you tell them get it out the mud. You tell them other people, you you do your way, and that's what we're gonna tell those who've been ignoring. The signs of what the Heavenly Father uh, has been showing the prophets that we've been telling you people for mercy.
Okay. Proverbs 29. Yep. Uh, Proverbs 29 <clears throat> and 18. It says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so where is no vi vision, the people perish. So Apostle Gabar always mentions this. You've got to have a vision in this thing. You know, uh, brick brick by brick, you know, uh, 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 putting that one brick in. And when you when you putting the steps in, putting the bricks in, you see it all come together now. Because we see the prophecies coming. We, we see the prophecies actually here. The brothers, uh, he mentioned a couple of them, like the uh, hornets, you know, the whole, the whole uh, uh, you know, lockdown of America, so to speak. We're, we're seeing it now. So that's the clear vision. But the scriptures say they have eyes that can't see and ears that can't hear. So the Lord has bonded our people. But it's going to take a, a huge catastrophe to wake our people up. A huge one, man. I got another one for you. Okay. Proverbs 11 and uh, 14. It says, where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Yeah, that's right. You can that. Yeah, these people, you, they don't have the counsel of Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shai, therefore, they're going to fall. All right, hey, we have, uh, what is it, the one uh, uh, in, in Sarat. It tells you basically, uh, get the uh, betimes uh, under the elders, all right? Yeah, be, be times. Yeah, be times. That's right. how you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear the discourse of the elders, all right? So we heard the words of wisdom and, and got up under it. But these people, they heard it and they brushed it off. Therefore, they're not going to be uh, defended. All right, another one, Revelation uh, 19 and 10. It says, uh, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the most high power for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is a spirit of prophecy. So if Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is dealing with you, you're going to understand, fully believe in, and be uh, preaching prophecy. All right. So that just goes to show you, that shows you who the Lord is really dealing with and who, uh, who he isn't. Even amongst the Israelites. If you you talking to a nigga, you've been talking to this nigga for 20 days. Hey, look, man, this is the market of the beast. This is RFID chip. They can do this to you. They can plant it in you. They have, <clears throat> they hey, the economy works through it. You can buy and sell with it. Oh, no, nah, nigga. No, nah, see, I don't, that's all. I don't hey, he don't have the spirit of the Lord upon him. Which well, was, yeah, like sometimes I don't know if y'all get it, but sometimes you would try to chop it up with Jake, depending on what spirit you're in. Um, you'll tell them and they'll agree. But, like, the next time you see him, he'll act like he got amnesia. So, <laughs> like, this yeah. nigga act like he, he, he'll try to refresh what you told him. Uh -huh. He won't, he, he might disagree, he might scoff, you know, or act like, you know, he'll brush it off. Yeah, that's because they, they uh, slotted to destruction. That one uh, scripture, Matthew yeah. uh, 13, the, whenever, uh, the, whenever it was sold inside of him, the uh, Satan comes and takes it. Yeah, yeah. that's a Jake like that. Because yeah, we had we got Jake like that. Nigga, you'll see that he come by every once yeah. in nine months. You know, do the shalom shit. You know, when you tell him something, you know, if you play cool with him, he cool. But if you really get on his head, man, all right, all right. Yeah, you be smoking. Yeah, or something. yeah. But hey, man, you don't need to be doing that. Hey, you, you know, you calling on the name yet? What's up? Oh, right, well, you know, okay. Hey, these people don't have, they don't have the Lord with them. So when this shit comes, that's when they're going to, uh, what is that? And, and their affliction, is that Hosea? Mm. Uh, yeah, you can get that. Yeah. Real quick. And their affliction, that's when they're going to want to seek the Lord. But it's, it's going to be over. And the scriptures tell you, you know, to basically to love your neighbor. And that's love. You don't really think about it. it. You know? So it ain't like you're getting on your head off some ego shit like we know more. Yeah, we was niggas too at some point. Yeah. Uh, Hosea, yeah, it's out of love now. Hosea 5 and 15. It says, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. And that's another thing. Those, the ones that wake up are going to be the ones that acknowledge their offense. At some point, you know, for every brother in this world, like, first coming into the truth, you're like, damn, something's not right in this world. Like, this shit is not right. That's you acknowledging your offense. And the Lord starts dealing with you. If a nigga can't get it, he's... And when I say a nigga, it could be a Negro, Latino, Native American, a short motherfucker, fat motherfucker, tall, uh, nigga, three foot one, it doesn't matter. If, it, if they don't want to acknowledge the truth, it's because they're stuck and they want to stay in their wicked ways. All right, the one scripture, Jeremiah, I want to say it's five and some, it says, and they love to have it so. They love these abominations. A nigga love bragging, 
uh, 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 yeah, uh, he looking out the window, yeah, that nigga, uh, Joe, he going, he going to work, I'm gonna slide over there with Sharky, you know, they love, they, they love they looking this, you know, Sharky, yeah. uh, I'm gonna finish it, Mark Quavius, yeah, Mark Quavius, <laughs> Hosea 5 and 15, I will go and return to my place, till they acknowledge their offense, and seek my face, and in their affliction, they will seek me early, come on, hey, so, when the Lord puts a hell on these people, that that's when it's gonna click, and at the same time as when their heads is gonna get blew off. Yeah, because if you you know, it it, it takes person to hit rock bottom to call on the Lord. You know, it, it it really takes you to for you to lose everything, or to be in a jam, a, a jam where you can't get out of, for somebody to actually acknowledge the Heavenly Father. You know, and and uh, you know, people wait till the last minute. Keep doing that shit. Keep doing that shit until, until, until really you run out of time. Ooh. You know, watch that movie Time Up with uh, uh or in time with Justin Timberlake. Mm -hmm. There was a particular. Yeah, you couldn't scene. be bullshitting. Mm -hmm. You had, you literally didn't have the time in the world to be bullshitting. You'd be dead. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like literally, literally, if you don't think about it, the time is ticking, man. Uh -huh. You know, not only for, for well, for us, for for us, you know, uh, for 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 those without. The knowledge, you know, we're on the schedule right now. Um, I had something after you. I know you got. I got like one more. I'm trying to. I had one. had two real quick. Uh, this is uh, the book of uh, Exodus seven. I'm starting at one. And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a god to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. Thou shalt speak all. That I command thee, and Aaron my brother shall speak unto Pharaoh that he send, send the children of Israel out of his land. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply uh, my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you that I may lay my hand, a hand upon Egypt and bring forth my armies and, and my people, uh, the children of Israel, out of the land of uh, Egypt by great judgment. Uh, judgments and we know that that uh, went back back <clears throat> in antiquity uh, with, 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 with uh, what went on and uh, you can uh, correlate that to today's time meaning the Lord he's showing right now his signs and his wonders while Egypt aka uh, uh, America uh, is being judged um, but just wait on it it's going to get worse the judgment you know and the uh, 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 Modern day Pharaoh, of course, and Trump, and you know, and the other uh, Chaldeans, and had another one. This Ecclesiastes, and the Apocrypha 10 and 2, as a judge of the people, and mm -hmm. is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such at, uh, are all thy that dwell therein. And the scriptures also talk about, uh, uh, when the, where the, I think, uh, roughly paraphrasing, where they, where the, uh, a wicked ruler, a wicked ruler. Uh, shoot, the people mourn. Oh, when the yeah, when the wicked are uh, are in rulership, the people mourn. Mm -hmm. When the righteous are in rulership, the people rejoice. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, so whatever, however, the judge or the ruler or the king in that particular land is, is he going to have that same vibration? Because yeah. if it's ruling in wickedness, the, the whole city or the whole because America's a big city, yeah. the whole city is going to be uh, uh, the vibration is going to be on. 10, man. Yeah. You see that now. So they, everyone has the vibration of Esau, Edom, the devil. Yeah. Because they don't want to believe in prophecy. Because they, they know pro our prophecy is their downfall. So they've got that same spirit on you idiots. Oh, yeah, because when they see a white man go down, they know they're going down too. Uh -huh. Right along with especially the so-called black woman. Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, so-called black man. So uh, you, uh, all the way down to this car. And you native, so-called Native Americans as well. Okay. To whatever uh, tie you have to this uh, kingdom and to this man that's your enemy, once he goes down, just know he, you're going down with him for loving him. You know, yeah, scripture talk about who was joined on him, he's going to be thr thrust through, uh, roughly paraphrasing. Okay? That's all I have. Yeah, you know, I was going to get some, but that, that's, you made you made good points, bro. I was going to, I'll just sum it up. Basically, hey, in Tobit, this place has been prolonged a certain time. Basically, the Lord, time you can get that uh, 
it's, it's Habakkuk. Like a day set for appointment. Yeah, Habakkuk. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it Timothy? Yeah, I go to that. Yeah. Uh, basically, in at the in like the last chapter chapter of Tobit, you had the city of Nineveh. It was given its uh, judgment by Jonas. It was told that it was going to go down, but the Lord had spared it uh, for a time. But nevertheless, it tells you uh, Tobit. Where's that? It told you that Tobit believed the words of the Lord, saying that uh, Nineveh was going to be destroyed. So he had his family move out, and eventually that's what happened. So hey, look, just people, be, hey, oh nigga, y'all been saying that for such and such amount of time. Oh, n hey, look, this is going, this this is going to happen. Yo. As sure as the sun goes up in the air every day, and as the moon comes up to take its place, this kingdom will be brought to its knees. Mm -hmm. uh, Habakkuk, getting the one you uh, called for. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Close it. Come on. Habakkuk, uh, two and three. It says for the vision. Is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. God, hey, this, this, all these things are gonna happen. All these, you know, from Genesis to Revelation, it's all gonna happen, and it's gonna happen in our time. You know, for eight. Hey, so, for the brothers that do believe, we just gotta keep on believing. You know, don't let anything shake your faith. And for these people that don't believe, y'all gonna find out. All right, and it's going to be the biggest and most pleasurable, uh, I told you so, for us to say to you assholes, Lord willing. I told you, as we going up, it was that, uh, uh, the one movie, uh, the comedians in there, they was going up, he was flipping everybody off and shit when he was getting beamed up. Hey, we, Lord willing, we're going to be going up, hey, with our shoulders up, like, hey, G, right, you know? Right, right, right. We, ain't, we ain't in the age of Aquarius, yeah. none of that shit, uh -huh. you know? We in the we in the we in the days of the Lord, man. Uh -huh. we, in the in the in the end times, uh -huh. the times that everybody's so scared to read. You know, we're coming to those times right now, man. Okay. Right, so with that, we're gonna give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Makhadash, the one to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all that like Akim, walk, walk, and learn, teaching truth and sincerity. We're gonna say Shalom. Shalom. <coughs>